Hello, my friend. Welcome to the Living in Sync podcast. I am your host, Joelle Cease, and today I'm going to be sharing with you one way, kind of a fun activity or practice that you can do to start daydreaming again, start believing in possibility. And I know for me, when the realities of being responsible for children, like when I became a mom, I slowly started to see my dreaming, my big dream self start to deter and become less and less and less. And I started really leaning into logic and fear almost. And I think with motherhood and what goes on in our biology and our brain chemistry when we become moms, that's really common. And I know this because I have been reminding my couple of my friends about this practice. And first, I'm going to give credit where credit is due because I truly did not come up with this. I heard about this practice for the first time from my friend, mentor, amazing person, sister from another mister, Andrea Crowder. I admire her in so many ways. And she talked about having this practice of wouldn't it be fun if rants and rampages where she was in conversation with like a friend or something. I can't remember the origin of this, but it was really on a rampage of like, wouldn't it be fun if, wouldn't it be fun if, and wouldn't it be so cool if, and saying and speaking and really imagining again, just over and over and over and making it fun and not worried about the logical side of things, not worried about like, oh, how much does that actually cost and how could that really happen? But really in this energy and essence of play and imagination and speaking life and possibility of wouldn't it be fun if... Wouldn't it be fun if this happened? Wouldn't it be fun if we did that? Wouldn't it be fun if so-and-so or I or whatever it is, like, wouldn't it be fun if? And last year at the beginning of 2023, I was working on a project called The Underdog. And The Underdog is a series of audios that you listen right here on your podcast app. I'll link to it where there's a series of audios with Andrea speaking and really cool music in the background. And I listen to two of those audios the most. The two that I listen to the most are this wouldn't it be fun if, because she's really kind of prompting you to get started on this. So I would literally be on a walk and I'd be thinking of like, wouldn't it be fun if, wouldn't it be fun if, wouldn't it be cool if, and I would just play these things out in my mind, not worried about the how, not worried about the when, not worried about the logistics, not worried about the cause, not worried about the like how it's really actually going to happen. It was just full on play. And I remember when I was young, I used to be a daydreamer. I remember sitting in school and my mind would be just endlessly going through different situations and scenarios in my mind that just didn't make sense. And it wasn't until 2023 where I had one of these very vivid daydreams back in my head where I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't had one like this in for a long time. They're not always related to business or family life or whatever it is because my vivid daydream that came back was Wouldn't it be cool if I was a DJ and I had like a dance floor of women just pop lock and dropping it to music of the 2000s and I was in the DJ booth and we were having this like big celebratory dance party. Like, wouldn't it be cool if I could DJ like that? Can I DJ like that? Absolutely not. I don't even know what to do. Can I put together a pretty cool playlist? In my opinion, yeah, I'm pretty okay at doing that. Would it be amazing to have like a big group of um, like a big pop and dance floor where us moms, ladies in our 30s and in our 40s could just let go and freak a leak out on the dance floor once again? And I was like, I haven't had just a bizarre daydream like that in a long time. And I know it was because I had started to get into this illogical practice of wouldn't it be fun if. The other one that I religiously listen to on Underdog is 
I let me look up what it's exactly called, but it's about having a quantum leap year. And it's really such a powerful practice, especially if you're out on the walk, pop in your headphones. And she's walking through how you can really catapult yourself in a year, how she catapulted herself in a year. And I know for sure, because I've been in Andrea's world in 2023 to now 2024, she's had another quantum leap year. And I had a quantum leap year in many ways in 2023. And I'm realizing that in 2024, and I'm even wanting to get myself in the excited, excited energy of what I'll be like when 2025 rolls around. And I, I'm back to being in this daydreaming, imagination, surrendering, letting go of like logical and possibility. Now, I can't say fully letting low of, go of logical because like I'm a mom, right? But I really lived so long in limitation of, you know, I'm a mom. I don't have much time and things are the way they are in various certain areas. And that was really just hindering my spirit a possibility. And for those of you that are Christian like me, and you're like, okay, how this feels like woo woo, or this feels very like spiritual esque, like how can I really get into the energy of a practice like this? Well, I know that when we put logic and limitation to God, he's like, what? Watch this. You know, there was the I was at a church conference a couple of weeks ago with my mom, one of her friends, and it was a female, it was called the If Gathering. I don't know if any of you know that or are familiar with that type of conference. It's been around for a decade and like I'm just hearing about it for the first time now too. But I was at that conference and over and over and over and over and over again, the miracle of the fish and loaves feeding thousands and thousands of people and there being leftovers and there being scraps. It's like, God, Jesus, like when we put limitations on them, like there's not enough. We don't have the resources. We don't have the time. We don't have the this. We don't have that. That's when God steps in and is like, watch this. Really? Like you really think in your worldly mind that this is not possible for me? And so I do see it as practices like this where we're stretching possibility, where we're playing when we're not putting limitations where we're just like anything is possible because anything is possible with God. Like, hello, this is an amazing exercise to build your faith and to even further connect with like, you know, God, tell me what you want me to see. Tell me what you want me to aspire to. Tell me how big you want to go with this. And for me, when I first put on that prayer, and then I listened to an audio from Underdog, or you can even just play this game like you and a friend. I've actually been reminding a couple of my friends about this game where I told them to, uh, it was one of my podcast clients too. She was feeling kind of stuck in a rut with her podcast, but she had just hit the milestone of a hundred episodes. And I'm like, this is your chance to get on that mic and speak life and speak possibility. Wouldn't it be fun if, and let your heart say a certain amount of downloads. And wouldn't it be fun if this, and wouldn't it be fun if that I had another friend do this in her a personal life with something that was going on. We've done this with the scope of financials with a couple others. And I'm always like, wouldn't it be fun? Won't it be fun when we have a lake cabin to go to? If you've followed me for years and years and years, you know that a lake cabin is on my heart and mind. And truly in the years of like 2018 to probably 2022, maybe 2016 to 2022, I was like, is that ever going to be possible for us? I don't see how this is ever going to be possible for us. And now the wind has shifted. The sails are turning. And I believe in that possibility again. I am living in just kind of Delulu land in a lot of areas, right? Like I'm still very much like tactical, analytical. I get things done when it comes to podcast production, but also I'm allowing myself to daydream. I'm allowing myself to be a big 
thinker, a big visionary. And this practice has helped so much. So I will link in the show notes, the underdog, and this is an affiliated commissionable link. I want to be super transparent about this. I also love this project so much because I was part of the audio production of this project. This project stretched me. This project was such a labor of love in 2023. And I, I love how it turned out. I'm proud of how it turned out. And Andrea just makes magic anytime she's behind the mic. And I want to give credit where credit is due because I learned this from her. And I know I have a big audience on here on the podcast. And I want to share this with you because it was a gift that she gave me. So here I give it to you. And whether you do this with just a friend or you come into my Instagram DM and say, you know, I want you to go on your wouldn't it be fun rant. Like Joelle, maybe you have, maybe you don't have friends that'll like get a practice like this. I'm that friend for you. Come into my Instagram DMs, share with me. Wouldn't it be cool if, wouldn't it be fun if, share with me your daydreams, your big dreams, your possibilities that don't seem realistic right now. And it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to make sense to you. It doesn't have to make sense to anybody. It doesn't even have to be in the realm of possibility. <laughs> it's just for fun. It's just for play. It's just to speak life for what is on your heart and what's in your mind. And with God, all things are possible. There's nothing too big for him to take care of in your life or bring into your world. And to question that and to be like, But really, how could that realistically happen? That's being like, I don't believe, I don't believe he can do it. I don't, and I know, I know in my heart, anything is possible. And I know that it takes time and energy and effort. And like, it's, it's hard work getting out of that logical side of things. It's hard work to really put out there what it is you want and what it is you desire. And with some of those desires that come through and you're like, wouldn't that be cool? Like the whole DJ dance party situation. I'm like, I don't know. Like how, what, when, where, why did this come up for me? I don't know. But wouldn't it be cool, right? Wouldn't it be cool if? And I hope that you check out Underdog. You send me a message, go follow Andrea, and I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye, friend. Thank you for listening to today's episode. If you loved what you heard or you want to share your favorite episode topics, please leave a rating and review. This helps the podcast growth and gives people an idea of what the podcast is all about. Something new and exciting that I wanted to share with you before we go is that we now have a Patreon page. This has replaced the Feminine Edge Collective community in a cohesive place that is easier for me to manage and cheaper for you. If you are interested in our monthly classes, exclusive day-in-the-life vlogs, Bible studies, community Q&A, and more, go to patreon.com forward slash living in sync and join for just $5 a month. Check out the show notes for any links or details of things referenced in today's episode, and I look forward to chatting with you in the next one.